Assalam Alaikum. I hope you all are doing good. I think all of us have curiosity about life. We watch television programs about animal and plants, visit zoos, safari parks, or botanical gardens. Some of us love to keep pets or do gardening. However, these living things, also known as organisms, have great variability among themselves. Thus, biodiversity or biological diversity is the variety of living organisms. It is the variety of living organisms found on Earth. To study such varied form of life, modern taxonomy have classified all these organisms into five groups as kingdom. These five groups are termed as kingdom. They are first one kingdom monera, the second one is protoctista, then fungi, then kingdom plantae and last one kingdom animalia. All the organisms are classified into these five groups starting from simple and moving towards the complex. First of all, have a look to King Kingdom Monera. It includes all unicellular prokaryotes. Uni means one, so they are single-celled prokaryotes. The term prokaryote comprises of two words. Pro means first and karyote means nucleus. The primitive type of nucleus is there within these cells. It means that only nuclear material is present, only genetic material is present and there is no defined nucleus. The genetic material is not enclosed within proper nuclear membrane. The genetic material is floating within the cell. Mode of nutrition. It feeds both autotrophically and heterotrophically. Autotrophs are those organisms which can prepare their own food and heterotrophs are the ones which cannot prepare their own food and they depend for their nutritional need on other organisms. They reproduce only by asexual means. Their examples include bacteria and cyanobacteria as in the image you can see bacteria here. Second Kingdom Kingdom Protoctista. Kingdom Protoctista includes unicellular and simple multicellular eukaryotes. U means true and karyote means nucleus. It means it contains true nucleus. Simple multicellular. What does that mean? Simple multicellular means that they are group of cells but they are not organized to form a tissue. They are simple aggregation of cells. Mode of nutrition. Both autotrophic and heterotrophic. Autotrophic organisms again are those that can prepare their own food while heterotrophic cannot. They reproduce by both asexual and sexual means. They are categorized into three further groups. First one is fungi-like protoctist. Those organisms which have somewhat similar characteristics or closely they can be closely related to fungi are termed as fungi-like protoctists. They include slime molds and water molds. Second category is of plant-like protoctists. It includes algae. And third one are animal-like protoctists. They include protozoans. They include protozoans that are always Unicellular. Kingdom Fungi. The cellular organization of Kingdom Fungi is multicellular eukaryotes. They are multicellular eukaryotes and they are not simple multicellular. They contain tissue grade organization, thus, they are complex in structure. The mode of nutrition is absorptive heterotrophs. What does that mean? As you all know, that heterotrophs are organisms that depend on other organisms for their food. They cannot prepare their own food within their body. But what does absorptive means? Absorptive heterotrophic means that 
the organisms cannot ingest the food material while they absorb the food material through their body they absorb the material within the body like human human are ingestive heterotrophs they ingest they eat they put the food material into their mouth and engulf it they ingest the food material they are not absorptive heterotrophs so i think i made myself clear here reproduction both asexual and sexual reproduction occurs in kingdom fungi they are non chlorophyllous if chlorophyll is present in any organism it means that they can prepare their own food but fungi is non chlorophyllous in nature their examples include mushrooms and mycorrhizal fungi kingdom plantae again their cellular organization is they are multicellular eukaryotic mode of nutrition they are photosynthetic autotrophs autotroph means that they can prepare their own food through photosynthesis photosynthetic autotroph means through photosynthesis okay reproduction sexual reproduction takes place in kingdom plantae in plants sexual reproduction takes place chlorophyll is present in them their examples include ferns rose plant pine tree Kingdom Animalia. Kingdom Animalia includes all multicellular eukaryotes that have ingestive mode of feeding. They are ingestive heterotrophs. What does that mean? The ingestive heterotrophs mean that they engulf the food material through their mouth or through any opening. They do not absorb the food through their body surface. For example, if we take the example of this simple sponge that you can see in the image here, the sponge also filters the food particle that floats in with the water current. It does not absorb directly through the body surface. It filters out through the cells and then digests it. Reproduction. It reproduces both asexual and sexual means it reproduces by both the means and it is non chlorophyllous in nature their example includes simple sponges birds worms human etc thank you so much for your time take care allah hafiz